what's happening guys today we are going to do a bit of a look at Gilligan we're going to go through some before and after photos I'm going to take you for a tour through Gilligan and I'm going to explain what I'm up to so I have done the lake strip which a lot of you probably already know and I've got back down at Tail and Bend uh, when am I starting the trip properly well I keep saying very soon very soon all the time but we are getting closer I've just got a few business things I've had to sort out um, so I'm still getting a little bit sorted out but I'm hoping to be gone in about four to five weeks I've uh, told them at work when I'm leaving my last week so I've got about four weeks left at work then I'm got to get the houseboat done up and just a few little things I want done to it and then we're off so we are getting there I know it seems to be taking forever but uh, we're getting closer but uh, let's go and check out Gilligan behind me I've got it uh, down at my mate's place Jason because he's got a little bit of a bay in there and it keeps out the weather a bit and it's been good for me to work on it so uh, what I'm going to do now I'm going to put a few photos up before and after now remember this isn't going to win any houseboat of the year competition this is just what I've done for me it's a bit of a bachelor's pad I've got it how I like it and good enough to live on which some people may not agree and some of the stuff I've done in there might have been even better before I got my hands to it but uh, we're gonna go and check it out no matter what I love it and uh, can't wait to get out there uh, permanently on it as for how long I'm going for uh, I'm still not too sure I'm saying three months to friends it could be three weeks it could be three years I've got no idea there's lots of ifs and buts uh, whether I run out of money whether it sinks I might hate it there could be anything could go wrong so uh, at the moment that's what's happening but now let's go and have a look at a few of the before and after photos and then I'll take you for a bit of a tour through Gilligan this is when I first got the houseboat back from Sydney no verandas or anything we're just checking over it here and this is when we were first putting it in at Fred's Landing put it in for about an hour just to make sure there wasn't any major leaks a couple of photos here from just last week in the water at Tail and Bend and that's my bedroom uh, before we did it up and the floors all new flooring and that's looking back at the bedroom, spare bed on the left and that's sort of the kitchen looking back towards the bedroom as I said all new floorboards and that's the bedroom as it is now still got the spare bed on the left but that'll probably be filled up just with uh, camera stuff and I've got a lot of toys up there, I've got my radio controlled planes and boats and that's looking in where the lounge is now so that both those cupboards came out that's a photo after removing them and again putting all the new floorboards in and there we have it with the lounge there's a bean bag hanging up in the corner behind the TV so for the tour of Gilligan we'll just start at the front I'll try and remember everything I've done to the boat um, the main one I've got is that bar in the middle which I've mentioned before that's just to keep it off the dirt uh, off the rocks if I want to pull up somewhere I just uh, put a dropper in and uh, hold it back off the sand and I've got a, an adjustment in there so I can adjust it backwards and forwards I've just got this real uh, problem with pontoons uh, touching sand or rocks and I'd rather keep it off especially when it's bouncing up and down on the sand with boats going past uh, I always think it's going to act a little bit like a sandblaster next to it I've got my ramp I know it doesn't look very wide but uh, it's a bit of a gives me a bit of a challenge each time I go through it that adjusts from about 2.4 meters up to I think about 4 meters or 3.8 meters something like that but it uh, does the job pretty good and uh, we'll head down to the front now I'll keep this camera going while I uh, go across the ladder here hopefully I fall so I can make a good video for you guys Ah, we've made it. So this is the front here. I've got the uh, helm all covered up there. There's a fish finder in there. A little bit of tidying up needs to do. 
and up the front here I've actually got three sections under the mat there that are storage tanks so I'll just get in under here and show you what I'm talking about so here we have one of the storage areas and it's fairly deep so that's obviously the front of the pontoon I will stack that up with a few more jerry cans I think I can fit about three or four in there it does go back there about 60 centimeters back to the start of the next section of the pontoon and this is the plugs I'll put in all the way along this is just for the little pontoon right at the front so that's so I can just check and see if there's any water getting in and uh, yeah so they've got that storage tank there then across in the middle there's another one but that only goes down about 30 centimeters and then across the other side is one exactly the same as this one so plenty of room for storage and uh, I'll probably put most of my jerry cans and stuff I'm not going to use all the time in those and here we have inside that's looking towards the front so there's a bean bag hanging up in the corner that's sort of to get out the way uh, my lounge suite that used to be an old cupboard across the side there show you more of that in a minute there was another cupboard up in the corner which we took out we've got wall panelling put on put the TV up that TV will swing out and uh, face back towards me or a bit to my left uh, we put another fridge in a bit bigger fridge got my genuine uh, bonsai plant up there that's a genuine plastic one I uh, got the sink area down in here as you can see I like me netting so for any of you people that are a bit worried about when those wakeboard boats go past get some of this netting you can put stuff in it uh, I've got another one over here and uh, you won't have stuff falling all on the floors and up in the corner here I've got electrics all behind this curtain don't want to go in there she's a bit ugly I did it myself so <clears throat> we'll keep away from that and this is like my charging area uh, I had to get two of those in the end because the 80 amp one wouldn't run my four panels up on the roof so the easiest way was just to buy another one I run two solar panels to one the other two to the other and both of them go to my batteries which are down in under here plenty of storage up in there that's my bathroom I've just got life jackets and stuff in it. it's got a port loo in there and here we are looking down towards the back you will notice I took out the oven I don't think I didn't think I needed that I've got a hot plate and I want to save a bit of weight there will be one of my specialized curtains going up over that I've got a bin in there and a little bit of storage for cooking stuff we've got the little hot plate which I usually use outside but uh, on special occasions if it's too wet I can use it inside I just unhook this uh, netting and uh, pull it back so it's not going to light up uh, and oh you can't forget my little uh, keg here that's got my uh, scared of the dark medicine so if when I'm camping by myself one glass of this and I'm not scared of the monsters I'm not scared of the ghosts um, so uh, or the boogeyman or anything so try it if you're having any trouble by yourself so that's my scared of the dark medicine works a treat just uh, one class so that's enough before going to bed and uh, the lounge here again down in underneath I've got another section for the pontoons I pull that out and I can get to and check the pontoons and again in under there there's another one for the pontoons the next section of pontoons so I can check that and probably my favorite spot is right there in the corner I usually have a couple of pillows in there and uh, I can have a bit of a look at the TV at night time if I'm not sitting outside and we go down to the bed the bedroom so only a single bed but there's plenty enough room for me even though I'm a big uh, fat bugger but uh, we fit in there nice uh, plenty of lighting as you can see I've got everything turned on at the moment obviously I don't have that on at night time but I'm trying to add a bit of light while I'm filming uh, cupboards there for storage a little broom a little vacuum cleaner and this is my toy section so I like my radio controlled airplanes boats 
and things so I've got a couple uh, water planes that one there the skipper and the Tonga over there but my favorite is probably my little boat I might be 60 years of age but my brain sort of works like an 18 year old maybe a 14 year old so that boat will go about an 80 kilometers an hour so we'll be having a few test runs with that we'll uh, scare a few of those wake boats away give them a couple of races uh, there's storage underneath all of these uh, and under here and I've got another netting that's a I love this little netting one it's got a zip on it so you can separate all your clothes and you can even put stuff on top more storage at the back this is sort of my clothes section and uh, I'll just pull this up and show you my Chinese diesel heater this has been a great investment I think it was something like maybe 240 the smaller ones are about 180 bucks I wanted the flatter one because it's a bit lower and it's a bit square so Chinese diesel heater you've got the inlet pipe there which I'll show you outside in a minute uh, which I've plumbed in with my masterful skills and then you've got the exhaust one and uh, I've got a tile in underneath because it can get very hot the exhaust one gets very very hot that's just a spare tube there but I've got uh, packing around it heat packing there and heat packing going through the wall but it does get very hot but uh, I've had no trouble with it the way I've got it set up it just comes out through this vent here it's got a hand control which is this little one I've got hanging up here and I can turn it on and off whenever I like it does make a little bit of a thumping noise sort of pump 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 but you don't really notice it and it keeps this little houseboat very warm I love it uh, can you smell any diesel maybe a touch but it's very minor so I've never really noticed it and it you can tell your level in the side there I reckon when I went out to uh, use it about three days in a row or three nights in a row I might have used half a tank and I'm guessing this tank is about four or five litres so it, it doesn't use much diesel at all and absolutely love it also next door to the Chinese diesel heater and in under that little bit of wood is another uh, plug where I can check the back pontoon and there's also another one under my bed here in the same spot that I can get to just to check the pontoons and I have another little boat up the top that's a miniature one but it still gets up and goes pretty quick now out the back needs a bit of tidying up here a lot of this stuff will go into the dinghy when I've got it here or my little tinny which is tied up at my place uh, down the river there about 400 meters so uh, a lot of this stuff will go in the tinny mainly my swag again at the back we have three sections underneath the mat here storage tank there in the middle is another bigger area which is where the I've got two petrol tanks and that one only goes down about 30 centimeters the same as the front and then another deep one at the back and inside of the two either side uh, they go down flat to the next pontoon in front of it so that's where I've got more plugs so I can check these two back pontoons back in uh, underneath and check and see if there's any water in them so that's basically it I've got my little table here uh, I've got a little swim deck out here where I can sit um, don't get into this boat when it's dark off of a jetty say from there and turn around and take one step because all of a sudden you end up with your ass and a leg jammed down in there uh, rookie mistake wasn't very funny it was funny the next day just not at the time and down the side here we'll show you my inlet for the Chinese diesel heater so the, the black one is the air inlet and a little filter and the other one is the exhaust I'm thinking of putting a couple of brackets around that just so they don't get hit by trees but basically uh, that's it 
So I hope you enjoyed my uh, little tour of Gilligan. As I said at the start, things are getting very, very close and uh, I'm getting a bit excited. Uh, remember, there will be a video out every Wednesday. I've already got about four in the can now of my trip across the lakes and I'm going to try and keep about four to five videos in front all the time. So uh, to follow me where I actually am, check out my Facebook site, Drifting on Gilligan. And uh, I'm also on Instagram and also the uh, River Murray Houseboat site on Facebook where I'll put the odd photo up of where I actually am. So uh, if you want to come and say hello, don't follow my videos because uh, I'll probably be well and truly gone from that area by the time you see the videos. Uh, in between time though, I'm going to be doing a few uh, cameo videos. Uh, I might do a couple of catch and cooks, um, some of me trying to be funny uh, or more like an idiot. What else are we going to do? Uh, camping sites along the Murray. It's just some videos I thought I'd do of little camp spots that people might be able to enjoy. Uh, just rock up with the family in their car and uh, there might be ones that uh, not many people know about. So you can have a cheap weekend away with the family, maybe do a bit of canoeing, a bit of fishing. Uh, so hopefully I'll put one of those out each week as well, but uh, all the main videos will be out every Wednesday at about 11 o'clock. So they should be starting in about four to five weeks time. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. It'll be fantastic to have more followers and uh, really try and build this site up and uh, can't wait to meet a few of you on my journey up the River Murray. Thanks for watching.